Inside the Kamwo Herbal Dispensary in New York's Chinatown, workers are furiously filling orders. They are creating formulas that will be sent to traditional Chinese medicine practitioners across the United States. The formulas are designed to boost immune systems. Demand for formulas is off the charts. Uh, it's, so there's a lot of orders that come in. There's much more than we can handle it right now. Chris Doretto spent Tuesday morning hunting for Chinese herbs without luck. I've gone to four stores and all of the places have sold out of all of their herbs. Like they just said, no, 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 out, out, and chased me away. Camwo is only selling to licensed practitioners and has closed its retail business for now. Clayton Shu, who owns a clinic on New York's Upper East Side, is offering an herbal formula he calls the coronavirus shield. He says demand is so high and herbs so scarce that he's only selling it to people over the age of 60. That's our main target population that we feel actually needs it. Um, we've had patients who are college students, you know, or 30 year old working class, and we did not give them that. Chinese have used traditional medicine like acupuncture and herbal supplements for more than 2,500 years. Last year, it was formally recognized by the World Health Organization, further helping it to go mainstream. The outbreak has caused even more interest. With no vaccine and no antiviral medicine to treat or prevent COVID-19, it seems more Americans are willing to give traditional Chinese medicine a shot. Leong and Xu say the majority of their clients are not Chinese or Chinese-American, but people used to Western medicine. Both advise using a combination of the two to fight COVID-19. These uh, formulas help um, increase your chances to strengthen your body to fight off uh, the virus. But, again, it's no guarantee. Leung says if patients get ill with the virus, they should consult with their doctor and visit a hospital if necessary. Karina Huber, CGTN, New York.